Hey everybody, it's Andy Nix here, the uh, Center Director for the Cross Christian Counseling Center, and this is the inside of my office. This is uh, this is the first week we were in January, the first week we're actually over here at the uh, what used to be the clergy house across from the historic campus. Um, and I'm the Center Director and the Staff Counselor for Church of the Cross and Cross Schools and now the Cross Christian Counseling Center. You know, first of all, I, I really appreciate this time to to get to show everybody what this new office is gonna look like. And Charlie's put together a video to, to show the different rooms of the counseling center and the front and, and just get an idea of what we're gonna be doing here in the next in the next few days, realistically, because I'm ready to go. I've got hours on my calendar. We've got Lauren Weaver, who's putting together websites and putting together um, social media platforms. And, and Caitlin Fisher, she's she will be starting counseling here in the next few months. So we're, we're ready to start seeing clients. And we wanted you to be able to see what the inside of this room looked like so it would not be uh, detrimental or something unknown. But what I want to take a couple of minutes about and talk about right now, uh, in reality, is, is, is January. January is one of the most difficult months in the year for people who are experiencing mental health crisis. And we know that statistically across our country. And we've seen that for years. Uh, unfortunately, January is the month where most people harm themselves or attempt to take their lives. And that doesn't seem like it makes sense. Um, I've heard people say, well, clearly the holidays, that's the time where people that's the time where people try to end their life or hurt themselves, and, and, and that's not true. And the reason we don't think they, they try and hurt themselves in December is because there's so much intention about reaching out to others. But in January, that's all gone. In January, the bills come due. In January, you find out if you got the raise or not, or if you got the promotion. In January, you get into a, a darker time. And, you know, from a weather point of view, it gets darker, the days are more drab, there's more likely to be rains and clouds, and it's just all kinds of set on top of that additional trauma. And as part of my work, I have to ask people questions all the time about self-harm. I have to ask them if they're concerned about hurting themselves or even attempting to end their life. And it's a very scary question to ask, and I don't like to ask it. But they came to me because they needed assistance. And if you are facing that struggle right now, where someone that you love, that you cared about, is exhibiting signs, then that means they trust you. That means they want help. And that means they want you to ask the question because, because they don't know if they can ask it themselves. Maybe they're embarrassed. Maybe they're ashamed. Maybe they're afraid. They're wondering what people will think about them. They came to you and they presented how they were feeling or thinking. And they're just asking you, please, to reach out. Now, maybe you can't do that. Uh, it, again, it's a scary question. I, I, don't, I don't envy anybody asking the question, are you thinking of hurting yourself for the first time? I, I, I really don't. And if it's a question that you can't ask, then I encourage you to find someone else to help you. Um, we have, you know, you can dial 911, you can dial the National Suicide Prevention Line at 988, you can talk to your pastors. If you're in the area around here, um, come talk to, to any of our pastors, come talk to Padre, come talk to me. If you're a teacher and you're concerned about one of your students, or one of your coworkers, then talk to your administrative, talk to your staff. But let's Let's not be so afraid of asking the question that we don't get the question answered. I don't, I don't envy anybody that has to answer the, ask, ask the question. But this is the most difficult time of the year for people who are struggling with mental health. We know that statistically across the United States. We also know that 80% of people who contemplate, who talk about suicide, have told someone have made comments, have made gestures, and they need help. So the last thing I wanna leave you with is there's a myth that if someone is thinking about suicide and you ask them the question, then that means you're gonna push them over the edge and force them to attempt suicide. That is a utter and complete and total myth. You asking the question is not gonna drive someone 
to attempting suicide. And in fact, it's going to do the very opposite. So please take that myth out of your mind and throw it away. Um, I wish that I had a, a more uplifting mental health moment or myth for us to discuss right now, but I don't, and the reason I don't is because this time of the year is very serious. And I am very concerned about the mental health status of, of all those who watch and listen and who are affiliated with the church and the school. And because suicide is, to use the, the quote that everyone talks about, it's a permanent solution to what often is a very temporary problem. Thanks for stopping by today. I look forward to hearing from you. If you need me, um, I'm Andy Nix at thechurchesacross.net. My phone number is on the website. Sue knows how to get in touch with me at the chapel. Please reach out. Please let me know how I can help. Thanks. Have a great day.